Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about how to create stories or status like WhatsApp or Instagram in your applications. So far, you have seen that we have implemented dynamic link and other advanced stuff in the Flutter applications. So in this video, we are going to uh, do some stuff with uh, stories or status. For that particular thing, first of all, we have to go towards pub.dev in order to install a dependency. So, Firebase Firestore dot ins dot collection and its name is ads dot snapshot. All right. Now I have to create list of document snapshot we can name it ads equal to a snapshot dot data dot docs so for that i have to make it query snapshot query snapshot then i will be able to access docs yeah and then we have to give it a length from this particular thing Ads dot length. So now you will be able to see exactly two widgets because one is then this item and another is this item, right? But now I have to replace with the images instead of empty colors. How we can do that is by using uh, list reader builder and then we have to get image property from the document snapshot. Let me show you. This is one document, this is another, right? Inside the document, I have image keyword, so I have to extract that. So, first of all, string image equal to adds at the index dot get. What I have to get is the image key, right? And then inside decoration, I have to pass image uh, and then decoration image. There I have to provide uh, image provider which is network image and then our image variable. Now let's see. Now it's yeah. So you guys can see I have two images. One is of the first item and one is of the another item. So let's make it box fit. box dot cover let's check with fill I think contain is okay so now what I have to do next after clicking on any of them will be showing as a story or status so for that I have installed package and let's wrap it with the inkwell inside that uh, I have to create a screen with a story view sorry story screen now import material and stl story story screen and then scaffold inside scaffold I have to write a column and then children alright but we have to do one thing 
as we are using story view as a plugin then we don't have to write column story view this is the package we have installed inside that we have story items and that basically accepts a list of story item it also have some useful functions like on story show this will be called when story is shown on complete is another method this will be called when story is uh, showed completely right then we have some other useful parameters like progress position progress position dot top bottom we have different values and then one new thing is controller for that we have to define one controller which is let me define over here story controller I will name it story controller equal to story controller and let's assign our here story controller yeah now what I have to do is simply fill this list in order to show story we have different type of story widgets let me comment it out here if you want to show text story then we have amazing widget for that which is named story dot text story item dot text then we have to use this widget but if we if our story type is uh, video if we have video story then we have to use then we have to use story item dot page video this is another widget but if our story belong to image image story then we have different property like story item dot image or something like that so now first of all we have to send our story we have to send story from here now let's create a string variable string uh, URL of the story URL of story right and then another string is type and then we have to accept it or constructor this dot story sorry, this dot URL of story and then this dot type so you have to accept these things in order to show story here I have to add some elements to this how we can do this by creating a list list of story item we have to name it story items and make it an empty list and start and we have to assign our here story items right now on the basis of type we have to decide which widget we have to use if the type is text we have to use this particular widget if type is video we have to use story item dot page video and if type is image story then we have to use that particular widget so I am already getting type from the next screen so I have to just take a check if type equal equal to image what we have to do is just add to this list story items dot add story item dot <coughs> image page yeah so the required thing is URL and one controller what is controller controller is our story controller and URL is the URL we are sending from we are sending to the constructor URL of story there are 
other useful attributes as well like duration and many things so we have that did this way for now i have did it for the images now let's check so when someone click on this particular when someone click on image so it will be redirecting user to the story view screen story screen and then story screen is accepting two type two things one is url of image or you can say image itself and another thing is type so in our case it's image so i'm passing as image right <clears throat> okay now let's see it is uh, building so yeah now i'm going to click over this image so yeah guys you can see there is something happen in the meantime again it is saying uh, missing plugin exception so first of all i have to i have to make it restart now let's off the app and rerun it again uh, i am pausing the video as it get run then i will resume guys uh, it's now running let's click on uh, story and yeah it is working awesome so you guys can see uh, it is completed but uh, we have to implement a very simple logic when it get completed so it get dismissed by default so how we can do this if you remember there is a handy method on complete so we have to trigger this on complete method yeah this one get dot back first we have to import get and then back so once the story is completed and it will be uh, dismissed automatically so this is the indicator and yeah have you watched this uh, so guys this is all about story widget uh, this is how instagram and whatsapp are doing their stories or you can say status uh, that's simple thank you guys for watching the video please share and like do like subscribe thank you